somewhere lost in Georgia. Yesterday was a horrible day. We wanted to go to the beach. So we drove down the beach for a hundred miles before we found a place to put our toe in the water. And it was so cold we left. And then we decided, well, we're going to go to Savannah, Georgia. So we got caught in a horrible rainstorm that put us almost invisible. In, what's the word? We couldn't see the road. What's the word? You she can't. She don't know the word either. But now we're we're in Oliver, and we're in Oliver, Georgia. Anyway, we couldn't see the road, so that brought us down to between 15 and 20 miles per hour down the major freeway. So we got out of that, and we did notice accidents along the road, but they weren't affecting us. So, you know, and they were being taken care of, so we didn't worry about it, and. We went on about our, our, our way, and um, then there was a major accident that set, shut off the whole highway, shut it down. So we stopped at this good-looking restaurant and ate lousy food. And then we got back on the road and we could not find a motel that was under $165. That's not my budget. I want to buy a nice phone. I don't want to pay outrageous prices for a hotel when I can sleep in my car. Uh, Tommy, you got anything to say about yesterday? Very, very interesting how much we couldn't do. We couldn't ride the ferry because the storm was coming. We, and, and the beautiful place that we went before that it was closed because of the flooding. And the lighthouse was impossible to get to, too. So, wow. And then... We, we, didn't make, we never made it to Savannah. No, we never made it to Savannah. <laughs> yeah, you can tell us something. But we did have a bit of excitement. We got so late and so dark, and I kept getting lost, and Jeannie hadn't gotten her medicine. We finally pulled into a hotel six, a motel six, and we were getting out of the car. I went into the room. Jeannie was getting stuck, and all of a sudden, a man runs in. Your sister has fallen. She's in the road. Come and get her. She had fallen between the cars. It was so, so sweet. He was so helpful. He helped get her up. He wouldn't even let me help him help her. And then he wouldn't had leave until she got all of her meds put away where she could find them. And, and they, then he had to leave because he didn't like needles. <laughs> but he was awesome. I really thought he might have been a first responder. He said in his youth he had been. I like the way he carried me. <laughs> he did. He carried her like a baby. Just all gentle, gentle. Shiverly. How do you say it? Shiver. How do you say it? Shiverly. Um, I'm saying it wrong. Yeah, it was very sweet, very gentle, very concerned. It, and then he made us laugh. And it was quite the nice ending of a terrible day. Once we left, we were able to get settled down. Oh, and, and then my best friend put ugly stuff oh. on my Facebook. I mean, on my YouTube. It was terrible, the things that are... Uh, and a friend. She, I thought she was my friend. Yeah. And she, oh, my goodness. She was saying such awful things, most of which was weird. Couldn't even exist. <laughs> I had fun reporting her. Are they, oh, they don't get to see all this beautiful road? Yeah, I, I turned it. Hey, I just saw a sign, logging ahead. Logging? Yes. Yeah, they do a lot of logging here. I, I saw that log 
parking trucks. I didn't even know they did laundry here. And a cotton truck. They also doing some cotton. We passed a big old load of cotton a little while ago. Yeah, the, the cotton's ready to pick. Some people have picked their cotton and some people haven't. So we're on, we're on a two lane road in back country and it's beautiful. And I'm going to cut you off from my beautiful journey this morning because I know I'm going to be videotaping again. More gorgeous stuff. See, the fake temple looks like it's falling down. <laughs> they need more faith in their building. Okay. Love you. God bless. Say bye. Bye.